close your eyes and follow your breath. When you breathe in, where does the breath go into in the body? How, how deep does it go in the body? When you breathe out, how, do, how much does it come out? Keep following the breath all the way in, all the way out, the same way you'd follow a path. You don't wander off, you don't stop to look at what's on the side of the path. You keep following the path because it takes you someplace you want to go. It takes you to a place where the mind is a lot more solid, a lot more established, a lot more confident in itself, where it's looking has a happiness it can really depend on, and happiness that doesn't cause anybody any trouble. That's what we're going toward. But it's a path that you have to choose, and then life doesn't naturally go there that way on its own. But it's the path of the body. The path of the body is it grows and it develops, and then it turns around and goes just back the other way. So you gain abilities, you gain talents, and then you start losing them. But the path of the mind doesn't have to be that way. The path of the mind, though, can be any kind of path at all. It can start out good and go down. It can go up and down, up and down, up and down. Or you can make up your mind you want it to go up all the way. That's the kind of path we want to follow. As the Buddha said, the path is made out of virtue and concentration and discernment. The virtue is when you decide you're not going to do anything that's going to harm yourself or harm others. Concentration is when you get the mind really solidly established. And then discernment is what helps you to see what's right and what's wrong in life. And not just believe what other people tell you, but you actually see for yourself that you act in a certain way, it's going to cause unskillful or undesirable results. Those kinds of actions are unskillful. As for skillful actions, they lead to desirable results. And it comes out of your intentions. This is why the training of the mind is an important part of this path. Because your intentions come out of your mind. If your mind is well trained, the intentions tend to be a lot more skillful. And you, at the very least, you learn to recognize what's skillful and what's not. Then you have the strength of mind to tell yourself not to do what's unskillful and to do what is skillful. This is the path we're choosing. But it is our choice, because sometimes people forget and they go wandering off on some side road that who knows where it's going to go. Gets you into the woods and it's a hard time to get out. So make up your mind. This life you have, though, you don't want to follow the path of the body, because the path of the body, is, as I said, just goes up for a little ways and then it goes down. But you want your mind to go on a path that goes up and leads you to something better in life something higher, something more noble, to make up your mind that this is the path you want to follow, because it is your choice. And we're choosing all the time. Every time we take an action, we can choose to be on this path or off on some other path. But whatever you go, you're, you are following a path of some kind, but you just want to make sure that your path is in line with the path of the wise people of the past, who have shown that the way to true happiness is this way. You go wandering off this way, and they don't guarantee what you're going to find. But you can be pretty certain that it's not going to be as good as the path that many wise people in the path have followed, past have followed. So keep that in mind, that you're making this choice all the time, and you're look at the map of your life and decide where you want to go, where you've been so far. For most of us, it's just kind of wandering around here, wandering around there, bouncing off this, bouncing off that, just like particles of dust in the air. They don't go and see to be going anywhere in particular, they're just bouncing around. You don't want your life to be like that. You want it to go in a direction, and you want all of your energy to be focused on putting it in a good direction. That's how you give meaning to your life.